I have a train XL1200 that will not turn on. I turned the thermostat off and then back on and heard the click as if a resistor was trying to turn on the AC, but the outdoor unit will not do anything. I checked the run capacitor, 440 VAC 40 oof and saw the top bulged, so I replaced it. I then looked at the start capacitor and it had corrosion on it, but was not bulging so I left it alone. I then looked at the last capacitor, a run capacitor for the fan I think, and no bulge and when I checked with a mutometer, it was almost where the capacitor should be. So, it is possible I put the wires back on incorrectly, and that's why it's not running even though I replaced the bulging capacitor, or maybe it's something else and I am on the wrong path. Can you look at the wiring and tell me if I wired the start and run capacitor incorrect or if I should look at something else as the reason the outside AC won't turn on, all breakers are on. I'll upload the photos if this site will let me, otherwise I can give you a Dropbox link to check the photos. Thanks. Hello and welcome to Just Answer. My name is I'll be happy to assist you today. I'm not sure why no one has picked this question up yet. Do you still need assistance? Not sure either since this is the most common problem with central AC. You answered a question for me a few weeks back regarding power ducts, so happy to have you help again. Waiting for your response. I'd like to fix this over the weekend, so if you need anything answered before responding, let me know. Well good. Glad to be helping you again. I'm checking the wiring, but also was curious to know if the contactor is pulling in. If so, does anything happen outside or is it complete silence? Not sure what you mean if the contactor is pulling in. Is that where the wires go after the capacitor that I can push the center in with a screwdriver to force a start? Currently there is 100% silence. Yes, if you look at the first photo you posted you'll see the contactor above the capacitors. You can use a screwdriver or stick to push the contacts in, just make sure to do so firmly. Before you do that, it does look like the wiring is incorrect. Can you take another photo but maybe turn the new capacitor so I can see both terminals? Just take a good high quality one of the entire electrical panel, including contactor, where high voltage comes in, etc., and I can zoom in slash out to see what I need to. I won't be able to take another photo until tomorrow, but I looked at what I sent you, and I seem to be able to zoom in enough so that with the three photos, I can trace all the wires okay so perhaps between the three photos you can make out what you need. If not, it will have to wait until tomorrow. I see the contactor in the center with the springs, so tomorrow, I'll take a screwdriver and push in the button, should the fan go on once it's pressed and then stop when I stop pressing. I can see most of what I need from the photos, but I'm having trouble seeing what's connected to the backside of the capacitor. Is it just a single red wire from the contactor? I think I got it all though. The only wire I see that's out of place is the red wire from the start capacitor. It should be on the other side of the run capacitor with the red wire from the contactor. So on the run cap you will have two reds on the backside terminal and two oranges on the front side terminal. After you make that change turn the power on and press in the contactor and see what happens. The fan and compressor should come on while it's pressed and then shut off when you release. Okay. I'll make the wire change and push the contractor tonight when I get home. Out of curiosity, couldn't I just make the wire change, then go inside and turn on the thermostat, rather than pushing in the contactor? Yes, but if the unit isn't running then check to make sure the contactor is pulled in. If not, 
push it in and see if the motor and compressor come on and let me know. Okay, I'll check tonight and get back to you tomorrow. Thanks. Sounds good. Here are the new photos. As soon as you confirm the rewiring, I'll move the wire and then push the contactor. Sorry for the delay, I still can't see the back terminals on the run capacitor. Are both red wires going there? Here are three more photos. Okay, got it. The wires are still incorrect on the run capacitor, the silver one. The red wire that comes from the start capacitor, black one needs to go to the other terminal with the red one that comes from the contactor. I don't see which wires you changed this morning, which ones were they? I moved the red wire so that there are two reds on a terminal and two oranges on a terminal on the run capacitor. I just changed out the run capacitor as it was bulging but didn't do anything with the black start capacitor. Unfortunately, changing the wires did not get the AC going, see current photos attached however, once I changed the wires and pushed the contactor button, the unit turned on while I held the button pressed, so I assume this should be a major hint as to what is wrong. Okay, wiring looks good. So now we need to figure out why there isn't 24V getting to the contactor to pull the contacts in. Look for the low voltage wires that come into the unit from inside. On your system there are likely only two. They would wire nut to other wires once they enter the outdoor unit. Turn the thermostat to call for cool then remove the wire nuts and test to see if you're getting 24V between the two wires. Could this problem be related to the black start capacitor? Here are two photos that show the wiring and have caps. Which one should I open and test the power? Also, I read that I could test the current going into the contactor at the bottom, would this help us? Look in the first photo, don't remove Theus wire nuts as those are high voltage, but you can also see low voltage wires. Follow those yellow and blue wires down under that metal shelf and see if they have wire nuts on them. Testing the current will only tell us something if the unit is running. Surprise, surprise, surprise. There's low voltage under the metal shelf. You must have done this once or twice before. Which nut should I open and check the voltage on? Remove the wire nut from the yellow and blue wires. You're actually testing for 24V between the white and red wires, with or without the yellow and blue wires connected. Put one lead from the meter on the white wire and the other on the red wire and see if you get 24V with the thermostat calling for cool. I tested these wires with the thermostat turned to AC, temp to 60. I assume the thermostat keeps sending a signal constantly so there should be something on the red and white wires. There was zero charge going through these two wires unfortunately, so I guess the thermostat is the issue. I think I see the problem, put a jumper between RC and RH at the thermostat, put wires and wire nuts back on outside and try cool again. Before I do that, this DID work, can't see why the jumper has an issue now. However, I just got a new meter and I'm wondering if user error could be the reason I didn't see voltage in the R and W wire. What setting should I be using to test the voltage of the R and W? Use the 200 on the V on the left side of the dial. Okay. No voltage with that, so I'll jump the thermostat. I'll need to do that later however, so I'll let you know after 5 o'clock if that worked. Thanks. Sounds good. I jumped RC and RH on the thermostat, and still nothing. I then checked the red and white wire for voltage and still reading zero. 
I'm assuming it's the thermostat. Can I force the thermostat open by jumping two wires to see if the thermostat is bad? Yes, jump RH and Y and see if outdoor unit comes on. Nothing came on when I jumped the RH and Y frown. Did the indoor blower come on? You should have 24V between RH and C at the thermostat, can you check that? Total silence. I didn't check the voltage between RH and C, not Y. But we'll do that tonight. This is a fairly new thermostat, Emerson Sensi, that I installed about a year ago so I'd be surprised if that's the issue. But who knows? RH, jump to RC, is 24V hot from the transformer. C is 24V common from the transformer. There should always be 24V between those two wires. Why is the cool terminal? When the thermostat calls for cool it closes a switch between RC and Y to send 24V to the outdoor unit to come on. For some reason I have a feeling that we aren't getting 24V to the thermostat. Looking back at the photo of the thermostat I see there's an extra red wire that isn't connected to anything. If you don't get 24V between RH and C the check between the disconnected red wire and C and see if you get 24V. There's no voltage going into the thermostat at all. The loose red wire has nothing and the RH and C have nothing. I have another thermostat upstairs that is working fine and took this photo so you can compare the two. This one works, RC is hot, the other photo, with the red wire hanging, does not. Okay, that upstairs stat has a wire going to RC and RH and only one to C, the downstairs stat has two wires to C and nothing to RH. It looks like your system may have a separate transformer for heat and cool, which is not typical these days but still seen occasionally on older systems. If the downstairs was wired like the upstairs then the brown coming out of the same sleeve that the white wire that's hooked to W is should go to RH, remove jumper between RH and RC if it's still there. Have you seen a transformer in the outdoor unit, pick below? I didn't get a chance to see if there was a transformer in the outside unit, I got home after midnight last night frown I'll check this out tonight and get back to you. I would however not focus on the wiring being different upstairs and downstairs because however they both were wired, the two units worked fine, both heat and AC, until the downstairs unit broke. My guess is the issue is less with the wiring and more with the component or the wire itself. I assume if there is a transformer outside the next step is to check to see if it's malfunctioning and not passing 24V to the thermostat. No worries, the only thing I'm wondering is if one of the brown wires you have on C should be on RH instead. If there's two transformers, one inside and one outside, then we will know. I'll check, but again, since this thermostat worked before the breakdown, I doubt it's a thermostat wiring issue. Ah, for some reason I was thinking you changed the thermostat prior to the issues. There's likely not a transformer outside then, so when you get home check the indoor unit. Remove the access panel and look for a fuse. It may be a 3 or 5 amp car type fuse, or train often uses one like in the picture below. If it's a car type you can see if it's blown. If it's a train fuse then use the meter to check for continuity. The inside blower slash air handler has a fuse that powers the thermostat and ultimately sends 24V outside to the unit. Bad, I didn't know. Hopefully it has a fuse. Most systems have them, but not all. It's a low voltage fuse that protects the low voltage transformer. If there's no fuse then the transformer can burn up if there's a surge or short. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a fuse in my air handler, 
I have a train GAM 5B0C60 M51 YA. C. HTTP colon slash train dot American standard code dot com slash PDF slash systemis underscore ducto slash managedora slash gam five slash manual underscore underscore installation dot PDF I checked voltage on the Y1 and W and got nothing, the power to the air handler was switched off and the thermostat is disconnected, if that matters. I pulled up a wiring diagram for that air handler and it shows a 5 amp fuse on the red wire that comes off the transformer. It may be a newer diagram, but double check just in case. The power to the unit is what powers the transformer, so you'll need the power on to test for 24 volts. Test between R and C. If nothing then test the 240 volt side of the transformer and verify it's getting voltage. Here are a couple of photos of the air handler. The low voltage wires go into a section on the top of the open area, but while I can test for voltage, I still can't see a fuse. I do hear a transformer hum in the section to the left of the open area, but I did not open the next section. Should I open that section, or is the fuse somewhere inside the area I opened already? Yes, open the area you hear the transformer humming. That's good that it's humming as it's an indication that it's not bad. Which means there's likely a fuse. Got to this over the weekend and it was just a 5 amp fuse. Put a new fuse in and the unit started right up. If the fuse doesn't pop again, I'm good. If it blows, I need to figure out what's causing the power to back into the fuse. Thank you so much for the rating and bonus. I'm glad it was just a fuse. If it happens again let me know and we can start diagnosing. A fuse blowing intermittently can be hard to diagnose as it's hard to catch it in the act. Hopefully this one was just caused by a surge or something and L will be good. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.